Hello friend, welcome to my channel. This is sixth part of the tutorial series bulk RNA seq data analysis using the Conda environment. And in this part, I am going to show you that how you can download the reference genome and create the index file using HiSec2 and also the read alignment or mapping with reference genome using the HiSec2. I am not showing the indexing using star and mapping as well. I will prepare a separate tutorial for this. So let's start. So now I'm going to start my terminal. So to su a root user, I'm going to change the directory. So I have trimmed ASQ file in the directory trimomatic. You can see the file yes. And now I'm going to open a new window for the terminal to show you the script file that I'm using for the RNA seq data analysis. In this part, I'm going to show you how you can download the reference genome. For this, you can type Ensemble Genome Browser in the Google and you can open the first link. Here if the genome for mouse is available, if you click here, this will open a new window and you can download the reference genome from here or here. So I'm going to click here, choose DNA and in this directory you can see they have different file for like chromosome 1, 2 and for all other chromosome but I'm going to download primary assembly so you can see here you can download it by just opening this link or you can copy the web address and you can use the terminal to download the reference genome so in this script I have already prepared the script to download the reference genome using the wget command and the link that we have copied from here and after downloading the reference genome here I also have the gunzip command to unzip the .gz file so I'm going to save the script and here first I'm going to activate the conda environment using the command conda activate rna demo to run the script here you can see reference genome is downloading we can check the rna folder the reference genome of muscle musculus is downloading right now file is downloaded and unzip because we put the gunzip command after download the reference genome so i'm going to close this command in the script by just adding the hash and the next step i'm going to make the index file using this reference pasta file so you can see the command here i said to build i have already shown you that how you can install all these packages in the beginning of the tutorial of this series if you don't know you can get the information from there so to make the index file here is the command i said to hyphen build space hyphen p32 this denote the thread value of your system so you can this will be different in your case according to your requirement or availability of the thread you can put the value here and the reference genome file and the next is the output we need a mouse genome index directory in which I am saving the mouse index file so first I am going to create the mouse genome index directory so that I can save the index file for this I have already written the command to make the directory mkdir mouse genome index so i'm going to save this script now i'm going to run the script so you can see here in the rna seq directory there is no 
mouse genome index directory but when we run the script here you can see directory is created and if you open this so you can see mouse index file is generated but we have to wait to finish the script for the complete index file indexing is complete for the reference genome so i'm going to stop the command here that i already put for the genome indexing and making the mouse genome index directory so next step is alignment I'm going to activate the script here in the file i set to hyphen p 30 this is the thread value so i'm going to change this to 32 and here you can see mouse genome index so here is the input file of mouse genome index that we just prepared you can see here in the rna directory we have mouse genome index if you open the directory you can see the mouse genome index 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 file is present but we just put the value mouse hyphen index and the next is input first acute file for the read one and the read two so here you can see the directory trimomatic in which we have the sort me rn trimomatic like trim the first acute file read one and read two before this you can see the hyphen one and hyphen two and i'm going to extend the width of the file so you can see next is hyphen capital s this is the output directory for the same file that is sequence alignment map file that will be generated using this command so we need same file directory so that we can save the output from this script and the next is the summary and the output that i have directed to the same file in which we will get the summary file as well so this is the command for the high set to alignment but before running this we need to make the directory same file so that we can save the output and the summary so i have already written the command here for the directory as well for the same file I'm going to just activate this and I'm going to say control o enter and i'm going to run the script again but before running the script i'm going to clear the page using the clear command now i'm going to run the script you can see here same file that is created and the script is running to make the alignment file that is 01 r automatic sort me rna same file that we have given the name here in the output you can see here in the script even R trimomatic sort me RNA underscore same and the summary. So the script is currently running and we will get the same file. So the alignment is complete for this read one and read two for the sample one and you can see the same file here 12.0 gigabyte space and if you open the summary you will get the detail of the alignment so in this way you can align your fastq file in the conda environment using the high sector so now i'm going to close this command in the script and i'm not going to show you for the other three sample here but i'm going to show you the next step same to bam conversion but before conversion i wanted to show you some information related to the same file if you open using command head or tail you will get the information of the same file or the option available in the same file if you open any same file you will get the information like this so what are these things in the same or sequence alignment or map file so the first is ssr id read one and read two you can see the all the other you can see the information below this so these are the query files 
or the alignment and the next is flag and the reference sequence that is x indicating the x chromosome mapping quality and all other information you will get from the same file so these information are stored in the same files so these are very big files so that's why we need the bam file binary file binary file are the compressed form of the same file that's why we convert the same file to bam file so now here i have already written the command for the same to bam file conversion i'm going to just activate the script you can see here I am using the tools, same tools view, hyphen at the rate 32, that is thread and the input file, that is same file that we have created using the high set to alignment and the hyphen O, output of the same file that we will get in form of BAM. So I am saving the file in the BAM file directory. So we need to create the BAM file directory to save the BAM file that will be generated you from this script so to save this here i have already written the command mkdir bam underscore file so that we can save this file in the directory i'm going to save this script and now i'm going to run again for sam to bam conversion here you can see the same file is present but i'm going to convert this same file into bam file using the tool sam tools you can see here the command. Now I'm going to run the script. Web file folder is created. Here you can see same tools not found. So I'm going to search the same tools on the search. Same tool. So now I'm going to install the same tool because same tool is not present in this Conda environment. So I'm going to install right now on the Conda install same tools version 1.20 press enter now again I'm going to run the script Now script is running. Here you can see Chromatic sort me PAM file is generated and file size you can see 2.1 gigabyte. If you see the same file size, the file size is 12.0 gigabyte. That's why we create the BAM file to, to save the space. And now I'm going to stop the command in the script by putting the hash in the start at the start point so the next step is sorting up the BAM file so I'm not showing for all other file I'm just showing for the for the sake of time I'm not showing for all other file here you can see for the file 2 3 and 4 and the next I'm going to show you how you can sort the BAM file using the same tools so I'm going to just activate the command here you can see same tools space sort space hyphen at the rate 32 that is thread value and the input BAM file and the next is hyphen O that is output for the sorted BAM file so here you can see I am saving the sorted BAM file in the directory sorted BAM file so I need to create sorted BAM file directory so that I can save the output from the same tool view sort command for this I am going to activate the mkdir command here that i have already written mkdir sorted underscore bam underscore file i'm going to save the script now i'm going to run the script sorted bam file directory is created and we will get the sorted bam file after completing the script sorted bam file is generated i have shown you that how you can download the reference genome and how you can create the index file using the high set 2 package and also the alignment using the high set 2 and the conversion of sam to bam using the same tools view option in the same tools and also the sorting of the bam file and i hope this will help you in the journey of rna data analysis